In this video, I'm going to show you two drugstore alternatives to Glossier's Boy Brow. I'll be comparing the packaging, the prices, the textures, the colors, and the wands. So to start off with, I'm going to apply the Glossier Boy Brow. So this one has the highest price point at $17. Some application tips when you're applying a brow gel is to try not to swipe the skin. Really, you're just trying to coat the hair unless you have a bald spot and you're trying to fill in and create a little bit of density. Otherwise, they can get a little bit muddy. You can see that this instantly creates fullness. It gives my brow some lift. This is kind of a waxy palmady formula is opposed to being kind of like a crunchy gel like formula. This is a little bit softer, which is nice because you're less inclined to get flaking and it holds your brows in place really nicely. So the next one is the Maybelline Express Brow. I just discovered these alternatives, by the way, and I was really excited. So I bought them because the packaging is obviously trying to mimic Glossier and I was curious how close they came. The price of this one ranges between $6.59 and $8.59. First thing I want to compare is the brush. So this is the Maybelline brush. It is a little bit longer than the Glossier brush. One side of the brush has longer bristles with less product. And then the other side, this side has shorter bristles where you have more access to the product. So if you're wanting to build up opacity, you can use this side. And if you're trying to kind of separate the brow hair, you have access to this side of the brush. I know of some mascaras that have a wand kind of like this, but this is the first time I've seen a brow brush. So I'm going to start off with the shorter bristles. You can see that instantly I get a lot of color payoff. I'm still trying to shy away from touching my skin. However, with this formula, I find that if you do happen to touch your skin, it is more sparse. For whatever reason, it doesn't tend to adhere to the skin as much as some other brow formulas, which is nice because you don't run the risk of making a giant mess. Now I have flipped the brush over and I am using the longer bristle side to just see what kind of separation I can get here. So this creates a really beautiful feathered finish. I don't think that this is as waxy as the boy brow. This probably is a little bit more gel-like. As far as color goes, it's pretty comparable. I'm using the shade brown in boy brow and medium brown in the Maybelline. Glossier is a little bit warmer, like it almost has a little bit more of a yellow tone to it, whereas this brown, it seems slightly cooler to me and cooler tones tend to read darker. I, from a distance, can see more hair definition with the Maybelline. That's probably partially because it is a cooler tone and also because it's a little bit more of a gel-like formula. It's not as palmady, so it's probably a little bit more reflective. Now I'm gonna take that off and I'm gonna compare Glossier to Wet n Wild. MAC just reformulated their makeup wipes. These are the, the Gently Off Wipes with Micellar Water. Um, and I really like these. I used to not like their makeup wipes at all. They agitated my skin. The texture of the wipe was really abrasive. The smell was really strong and it just left my skin burning, but these are fantastic. The texture of the actual wipe is really smooth. They're hydrating. They don't leave like a film on your face the way that the old wipes used to. So I want to move on to the Wet n Wild Brow Sessive between $2.56 and $4.99. And this is the shade of brown, just like the Glossier. Okay, so this wand is more similar to the Glossier wand. Basically, the Wet n Wild wand is not as compact as the Glossier wand. The style of wand is very similar. It's kind of that like spiraling staircase of bristles, like a lot of brow and mascara wands. Only this one, it's like more bristles in a smaller space, and this one, it's stretched out. My initial thought is that that means this will give you a little bit more control and won't apply as much product as this wand might, because when there's more space between the bristles that means there's more product exposed and when you brush your hair more product is going to get on your hair so depending on how your dexterity is how heavy-handed you are it might be harder to control this product Just got a little bit on my skin on accident. Part of that is the awkward angle that I am at trying to get my eyebrow on camera. But I'm getting a lot of product density through here and here where the wand has 
grazed my skin a little bit more. It's still a pretty formula. Like I probably would choose this over some more expensive brands just because it has kind of a micro wand. For me, the most important thing about a brow gel is the wand because if it is too large, it's really hard to have precision. I definitely got more of that product on my skin than I did on this application or with the previous brow gel with the Maybelline, um, which you can kind of see what that looks like. It just makes the brow look more defined and more dense. I'm gonna take a little bit of Glossier because I combed through that and my brow kind of fell a little bit. Glossier, wet and wild. Glossier, wet and wild. Okay, so let's recap. Glossier coming in at $17 is a fantastic brow gel. This is always gonna be one of my favorite brow gels. It is really easy to work with and it is a pretty moldable formula. Like once it's already dried, you can still comb through it because it still has a bit of tackiness to it. There's nothing like crunchy about it. I love that this has a really tiny wand on it. The formula is really fantastic and I will probably always have this. However, if I'm ever in a pinch, my second favorite is Maybelline Express Brow, which ranges between $6.59 and $8.59. I really like that this gives a lot of definition to the brow and has a wand that has different length bristles on either side, which allows you to build up the pigment and also separate the hair, depending on your unique eyebrow needs. Wet n Wild is the most budget friendly of the three, between $2.56 and $4.99. And I think that this is a decent formula as well. The only thing is they don't have a lot of color in this. I think I only saw two colors in addition to the clear. I could be wrong, but I know they did not have as wide of a color selection as Maybelline and Boy Brow. This probably has my least favorite brush just because the bristles aren't as condensed as the other two wands. And again, when you have more space between bristles, it's basically easier to clump things up. As far as the size of the actual packaging, the largest one is the Wet n Wild, the smallest one is the Glossier, but they're all tiny. They're all really compact. They're not gonna take up a lot of space in your makeup bag, and they're all really lightweight. Both of these are great alternatives. If you want a little bit more flexibility as far as application goes, the versatility of this brush is a big advantage, but if you're on a budget, then Wet n Wild is the way to go. So I hope this was helpful, and if there's any techniques or anything that you guys would like to see, feel free to drop it in the comments, and I will try to make a video about it in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked, and I will see you next time.